Hi, I'm Robert Reich. Take a look at this list of the 10 biggest government contractors. They're all defense contractors, and every one of them gets most of its revenues from the federal government. They use some of that money to lobby for even more defense contracts. Right now, the president is mulling an executive order to force big government contractors to disclose details of their political spending. He should stop mulling and sign it immediately. He doesn't have to wait for Congress to approve an executive order. And he should go further with an executive order banning all political activities by corporations that receive more than half their revenues from the U.S. government. Especially now, in the wake of the grotesque Supreme Court decision, Citizens United versus the Federal Election Commission, when there's no longer any limit on what big companies can spend on politics. Why should you and I and every other taxpayer pay Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, and Boeing to lobby and give away money to politicians who will vote for even more aerospace weapon systems? Why should we pay Raytheon and General Dynamics to lobby and contribute to politicians who will vote for even more high-tech weapons? Why should we pay Blackwater, Halliburton, and Bechtel to lobby and finance politicians who vote for more private military contract workers around the world? The answer is we shouldn't. Over a half century ago, President Dwight Eisenhower warned of the dangers of an unbridled military-industrial complex, as he put it. It's now a military-industrial-congressional complex. And after the Supreme Court's decision in Citizens United, it's even more unbridled than ever. We need the President to issue an executive order that bans political activity by government contractors that get more than half their revenues from you and me and other taxpayers. MoveOn.org political action is responsible for the content of this advertisement.